Um, we're in a double leg pull position. We're playing a lot of game from here. Um, gonna look at how to get the Achilles foot lock. Okay, and then if the car defends it, we're gonna look at switching to the knee bar. So again, from this position here, we were showing you how to get the roller grips, stretching out the leg, getting the bar and roller and hitting the But from here, you know, because we're trying to build a little bit of a game from here, we can also attack the Achilles lock. So, from here, it's important when I attack the Achilles, I have a bend in his leg, like so. I don't want to be attacking it with his leg straight. So from here, I'm going to bring my left foot to the inside. I'm going to smear his leg. Okay, with my left hand, creating a bend in it. And the detail is, guys, my left hand, the sharp bit of it, is under his Achilles, and I want to bring this high into my chest. Okay, I also need a point of contact with my foot so I can create pressure in this leg. I can't really put an Achilles on car if I haven't got driving force with this right foot. Because right? if I keep it on the mat, I'm not putting tension in his leg. But if I put my foot on his hip, and all the detail is, it's just like an arm bar. I squeeze my knees together so I'm putting, creating tension in his leg. And then from here, the other detail is, I put my face on the mat and this elbow comes high. So that's my Achilles lock. So again, we covered this in the leg lock master cycle, so you can check the vids for that for more details. So from here, okay, this left hand releases, I smear it, pushing it down, my right foot comes across, so I'm clamping, I get super high with the sharp bit of my wrist, here I put my face on the mat, okay, so Carl's going to go for his defense, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to push this foot off the mat, this stops me putting tension in his leg, I can still possibly get the foot lock from here, now he's going to put the boot on, he just kicks his leg out, which means the sharp bit of my wrist, that was originally over his Achilles, is now halfway up his calf, which is not really, you know, I can cause pain here, but I'm not really going to get a tap. So from here we're going to switch to the knee bar, guys. So, my, my left leg is going to come across, okay, and I want to straighten it, okay, as I bring my right knee high, okay, creating pressure with my elbow in the back of his leg. I'm going to come up, I want to get my hips as high as I can, on car hips. I straighten my leg, and as I roll over, my right hand is going to pull car's leg over. So I land up in the knee bar position. Okay, just come around the side, bro. So from here, and again, we covered this in the in the leg lock master cycle again. So I want both feet out straight. Okay, I'm going to have the sharp bit of my wrist. Okay, on his on his um the back of his heel and again I just like to get my rear naked grip like this so my left hand is grabbing my bicep my right hand grips his heel okay and the detail on the knee bar is guys the side of my head's pushing down um, putting downward force on the big toe side of his foot as my right hand's pulling up so it's, it's pushing down with my head pulling up with my hand and this left hand is coming tight okay and then from this position I'm just gonna stretch him out to get the knee bar. Okay, so pull that again. From my double leg pull position here, okay, I release. My left hand smears the knee. So the five points that we talked about um, in, the, in the leg lock muscle cycle was one, I need a bend in this leg. Two, I need driving force with my foot on this hip. Three, I want to make sure my knees are clamped together. Okay, four, sharp bit of my wrist on his Achilles and a high hand in my chest and five, I put my face in the mat yep. to get the tap. Okay, Carl's defense is, first thing he wants to push this off, okay, and put the boot on. Immediately my left foot's coming across and I straighten it, okay, creating tension in his leg, okay, my, my, right, my right elbow's still in the mat, keeping pressure on his leg. From here, I'm going to scoot my butt up so my butt's sitting on his hip. Immediately from here, my right hand is grabbing his leg, and as I straighten this leg, I roll over my left hip. So I'm into my knee bar position. And again, I can adjust so that um, my hips are in the right place. I get my rear naked grip, and then I stretch him off. Again, more details on this um, on, the, on the Achilles lock, guys. So I stay in this um, my double leg pull position, control. Okay. 
I smear his knee. Again, pressure with my foot on his hip, clamping my knees together. So it's quite similar um, concepts and principles as the arm bar. Okay, the only detail is I want to make sure Carl hasn't got a straight leg. Because if he hasn't, if he straightens his leg, okay, see the way my sharp bit of my wrist is coming cutting across his Achilles at 45 degrees. Okay, at a diagonal. Or if I have a bend in his leg, okay, the sharp bit of my wrist is going um, perpendicular to his Achilles, which means I've got a good bite on his Achilles. Okay, so from here. When I go for my Achilles, Carl defends, he pushes the foot off, puts the boot on. So now if you look, you know, uh, if I try to put it on, I'm just causing him discomfort. So rather than fighting for um, a bad position, I'm going to switch. So my foot that was on the inside is going to come across. I straighten it here. Okay, straighten my left leg, my right leg's bent, but I've still got tension in his leg because I bring my elbow back. Okay, I'm going to butt scoop, so I put my butt on his hips, immediately, my right hand's grabbing. I keep this leg straight and I roll over my left hip, which frees up my left leg so it comes underneath. And again from here, I keep this control till I get myself in the right position. Um, it just depends, so people are different limb length, but um, I kind of find if I've got their instep on my shoulder and I whack on my rear naked grip, then my hips are in the right place and I just straighten. Okay, one more time. So again. Pull. Foot lock. Cross. Let's go up. Pull them over. And my knee bar. So that's your double leg pull position, guys, to the Achilles transitioning to the knee bar. Let's do it for five.